this so-called DNA collection kit. And what is this? This is a mouse swab you can do by yourself at home. Now let's unbox this and have a look what it's inside. So you swab it just to the side, open it. You've got a little box. We open the box. And the first thing you have is like, um, we'll open it. It's a bit of paperwork you need to do because you need to fill out your consent that you agree that your, your um, DNA has been uh, tested and your personal details are been taken and written down. So it looks a bit like this. So just fill that out. Then on the back of it, you've got the terms and conditions. And then you've got a little swabbing process which tells you exactly what you should be doing and how to do it. So it's pretty easy, really straightforward. Now let's have a look at the actual mouse swab. So after that, we've got the box and you've got this little swabbing test. So we open it, let's rip it open. Down here, down here, down here, here we go. Whoop. So, and this is a bit tricky, this one. It makes a lot of noise, right? It's a bit of it's the paper. And it looks very sterile and very, um, I would say, <laughs> this takes ages here. Okay, got it now. So we took this all out. I'll put this paper to the side, so throw it away later. And this is the actual piece you will need to take your mouse swap. So this little bit here, that one you use and you now, you just put it in your mouth and you kind of keep swabbing it against your cheek. You can switch to the other side and keep doing it, keep swabbing, you know, keep collecting the DNA inside of your cheek and give it like a, a really good rub on the side, right? Once you've done that, you've got this um, little plastic capsule which you will be using. Now you can see when you look at it in detail, you might see it here, right there, is like a little um, already cut in it that will make it easier to break it off. Because what you don't want to do is after you took the mouse swab, you don't want to touch this. So you put it inside and exactly where this breaking point is, you can break it off just like that. And then it kind of just falls into it. So now we've got it in here. And the next thing we need to do is because it might take a couple of um, days to actually reach the laboratory, we want to make sure it stays fresh in there. And that's why we've got another little thing, like a capsule we have to put inside. So you open the capsule and again, what you don't want to do is if you, if it's um, possible not to touch that capsule with your hand. So you use it here. You, you put the capsule inside. Yeah. Just swap it inside like that. So it's on top of it and then you close it just like this. And then you've got your collection kit ready to go. Now, what you will see is that on this silver package, which you had inside is like a little, um, sticker on it with a number. And this is really important because this number will identify your swab test with the actual consent and your data you will fill out. So make sure that you check the number on here will actually be the same number, which is on your DNA test right here. And then you kind of seal your little plastic um, swab test just like this. You take that off. And the best way to do it is just to seal it around the top like that. And it's ready to go. So let's just say I filled in all of the information on the consent form. And now all I do is I put the swab test into the envelope. I sign my consent. I put the consent inside, I close the envelope, 